And now, Ninja Mission. As the time for the ultimate battle between good and evil approaches, Master Wu must deal with another battle, the one that rages inside him. He suspects there may still be some good left in his evil brother and enemy, Lord Garmadon, but he fears that he may have to destroy him before that goodness can be reached. Helping him in his battle are his students. Jay, the Lightning Ninja. Kai, the Hot-Headed Fire Ninja. Naya, the Water Ninja. And Kai's brave sister. Cole, the Strong Earth Ninja. Zane, the Nindroid, the Intelligent Ice Ninja. Laloid, Wise Master of Energy. Not so long ago, and closer than you might think, in the world of Ninjago. The ninja were called before their master. Wu sat on the floor in the monastery spinjitsu, drinking tea and looking at his pupils in silence. Kai cleared his throat. <clears throat> but the silence continued until the master had finished his tea. Then he finally spoke. Ninja, I need you to bring this very important package to Ninjago City for me, Wu said. Place it in the dojo there and guard it until tomorrow. Guard it carefully. Do not let it fall into enemy hands. We won't fail you, Master Wu, Laloid promised. Jay, Kai, Naya, Cole, and Zane nodded in agreement. The six ninja raced out of the monastery of Spinjitsu into the mysterious and dangerous areas of Ninjago that led to the city. Enemies lurked behind every tree and bush, and the forces of darkness followed their every footstep. We need to remain cautious, ordered Laloid. Evildoers could be out there, just waiting to steal the package. The Green Ninja was right. At that very moment, they were being secretly watched by three skeletons. As the ninja disappeared around a bend, the skeletons followed them. But there was something even more surprising. The skeletons were being followed by the Serpentine, who were in turn being spied on from the bushes by two stone warriors. All the villains knew they were no match for the six ninja, but they followed them anyway, hoping for a chance to strike. After a few miles, the ninja reached the outskirts of Ninjago City, because ninja were trained not to rest during missions, especially ones as important as this. They kept up their fast pace. We're almost there, said Kai. Good work, everyone. Let's race, Cole shouted suddenly. The last one to the dojo does the dishes after dinner. The ninja ran along the cluttered city streets. Cole was in the lead, but the others were quickly gaining. Why don't they slow down a bit, one of the skeletons said. Panting, I'm tired already. Even if I had lungs, I wouldn't be able to catch my breath, the other skeleton added. Finally reaching their destination, the ninja ran into the dojo in Ninjago City. Let's hide the package, Naya suggested. The dojo is loaded with awesome security. It'll be safe until Master Wu arrives. Sounds good to me, Jay said, as his stomach rumbled loud enough everyone to hear. But that doesn't. Let's grab something to eat. Little did the ninja know, the skeletons were waiting for them to leave the room. The villains could see through the large windows where the masters of Spinjitsu hid the package. It's ours now, one of the skeletons said, and laughed so hard that he almost fell off the roof. Two skulkin warriors snuck quietly into the dojo, the bony bad guys quickly located the package in its hiding spot and carried it away. Thinking their task was complete, the Skulkin cackled happily until thump. One of them fell through a trap door and landed right on a table, where the ninja were relaxing. Intruders! Zane exclaimed. My noodles! Jay cried. Cole ran to the window. He saw the other skeleton warrior running away with the package, leaping from rooftop to rooftop. Stop right now, you numbskull, Cole yelled. The ninja raced out of the dojo. Whoosh! They released their elemental powers and set off in pursuit of the skulkin, 
spinning along the rooftops in whirlwinds. Everything is going according to plan, Laloid whispered to Kai as they ran after one of the Skulkin. The skeleton warrior was fast, but he tripped over a slippery snake tail. The package flew out of his hands and right into the hands of a serpentine who had waited patiently to trip him. The package is ours now, the serpentine hissed as he and his reptilian accomplice dashed away. But they didn't get far. Suddenly, a group of stone warriors surrounded the serpentine. One of the stone warriors snatched the package away from the serpentine and disappeared over the rooftop faster than anyone believed a stone warrior could run. The ninja traced the stone warriors deep into the darkest parts of the city. Then they followed them into what had to be one of the creepiest hideouts ever. The ninja burst through the door and found themselves face to face with Lord Garmadon. Garmadon, Laloid shouted, but how? Garmadon laughed at the sight of the six ninja. I have spies everywhere, Garmadon gloated, and what I don't already know, they tell me. So I knew all about your little ninja mission as soon as you stepped out of your temple. Lord Garmadon yanked the package from the stone warrior's hands and sneered at the ninja. Now let's find out what my dearest brother had you guard so carefully. Excited, Garmadon quickly opened the box. Poof! Confetti and packing foam exploded from the package. But that was it. Garmadon dug into the box. There was nothing inside. It was empty! Surprise! The ninja shouted. Garmadon was speechless. Gotcha, Cole added with a chuckle. Garmadon scowled. What is the meaning of this? He roared. The package was only bait, explained Laloid. Master Wu knew you'd send your goons to steal it. We let them, and they led us back to your hideout. Back to you. Now you're coming with us. Looks like you are the only one leaving empty-handed, said Jay. Justice is served, added Kai. Three cheers for Master Wu. The end.